Okay, today we're going to talk about how to build a movie trailer in iPad with iMovies. Okay, so the first thing I need to do, obviously, is open up my app. And iMovie looks just like this. And so the first thing I do when I open my app, I will see... That's not what I'm going to see. One second, please. There we go. This is what you'll see. Okay? And we need to remember that every time we're in an iPad and we're creating something, the plus sign is going to let you create something new. So we'll cl click on that plus sign, and it gives us two options. The option we're going to use today is a trailer. So we'll tap on that trailer. And then what's really neat is it comes up with a bunch of different options for us. Think of these as gen genres of the books that you read. Okay? And so their themes, and they kind of go through and they have music to match them. Okay? So you kind of have to choose something that would go along with the theme of your book. All right? Now, for my purposes today, I'm going to choose Adrenaline. And I do that just by double tapping on it. If I want to see what it looks like, I can do this. That way I can hear the music. And just by doing that, I can think, okay, that music does match the book that I'm going to do, so definitely I'm going to choose this. So then I come up and I click on Create Trailer right up here, okay? Now you did see that uh, the little clip that we saw, they were using actual video for theirs. And for our purposes for this project, we're just going to use pictures. We're going to use photographs that we find through Google for this. But uh, definitely you can create movie trailers using video. It's fantastic. Great project. But for our purposes today, we're just going to show you how to use it using photographs. So there's two things that you see immediately uh, when you open to create your new project. You see storyboard and you see outline. Okay? Storyboard is the most important thing that you need to know about when you're working on your project. Your teacher will have an outline for you that has these kinds of things written on them. Um, again, hugely important. This should be the first thing that you're doing because it allows you to plan your project before you ever touch an iPad. You'll know how many pictures you need. You'll be able to get an idea of what pictures you want. For instance, the, the uh, novel that I'm going to do this practice trailer on is Hatchet. And it's been a long time since I've read Hatchet, but I remember bits and pieces about what was in Hatchet. So I know some um, different photographs that I might want. So I can definitely go out to Google and I can find pictures of what I would want. Okay? So you're going to want to make sure that you plan. Planning is the most important part of this project. Period. Okay, so we're going to act on the assumption that you've already done that planning piece and now you have all of that in front of you and so what do you do next? Okay, the first thing that you would want to do is you would go to Google and you would find your pictures. Okay, so let's say that I need to look for a grizzly bear. Okay, now keep in mind I'm gonna want to look for a grizzly bear that's scary. I mean Hatchet wasn't a friendly wonderful book. It was scary. The kid was trapped in the wilderness all alone with no food and, and no one to help him. I obviously wouldn't want to pick this. This is cute. Okay, they look like they're on a date. I don't want to pick that one. All right, um, this this poor little fellow looks sad, like he wants a hug. I probably don't want to pick that one either, or this one where he looks like he's laughing. Okay, I want to make sure that I pick a photo that is definitely going to match uh, the tone of my book. So I want to pick a scary one. Okay, check this out. 
That is definitely a scary one. This is a scary one. Okay, I want to pick one that looks like he's going to eat my main character. All right, that's what I want to do. Now, how do I get my photo to my camera roll? That's important. First thing I need to do is click on the photo to open it. Okay, so there we go. I've opened the photo. The next thing I need to do is click and hold on the photo until I get this little pop-up window. That's perfect. Once I see that pop-up window, the next thing I need to do is click on Save Image. Now that picture's in my camera roll. I do that for every single picture that I want to put in my project. Okay? Again, that's why that planning piece is so important. Because let's say I need 30 pictures for my trailer. I can go out and get all 30 pictures first. And then I can go build my trailer. Okay? So, that's how you get your pictures. Remember, you find your picture, you open your picture, then you click on the picture and you hold it and you click save image and when you do it goes straight to your camera roll alright now to go back to iMovie now we're ready to roll okay alright well, did it get rid of my project? Maybe it did. That's crazy. Okay. There we go. I hadn't saved anything. I hadn't done anything, so we're good to go. Okay. Um, as I said, the name of my book was Hatchet. So let me show you where I am again now that we're back. I'm in the Outline tab, okay? And where it says Movie Name, that's where I would put the title of my book. And if I tap right there, you can see that this is editable. Okay, so I'm going to type in Hatchet. Now you see whatever I type in here goes in right here. Okay, it's also going to change right here as well. Now, Riley Films is what I named my studio because my last name is Riley. What's really neat about the logo style, the logo style is um, kind of what you would want your studio to be. You know, so, sort of when they show you who created the movie, this is what your logo would be. So you could do colored bars. You could do a dandelion. Galaxy, which is I think what you saw at the beginning. A street lamp. Or trees. Okay? I think I kind of like the trees. Um, if you're working in a group, this is a great place to put your student names, who directed it, who edited it, uh, who was the executive producer, and so on and so forth. The written by, um, you have your choice here. Who, you know, if you're the one that wrote this report, obviously you can put your name in here. Or if your teacher wants you to put who was the author of the novel, then you can put that right here. That's why I put Gary Paulson right here. As far as the music goes, I did not come up with this music, so I put iTunes just because this is iMovie, so I figured, hey, maybe iTunes uh, is the place where the music came from. Okay, and then this is basically done. This is all filled out. This is finished. So the next tab that I need to click on is Storyboard. Now, once I click on that, you can see lots is happening here. Okay, right here you can see whatever is highlighted on this side shows right here okay and you can tell when something is highlighted because it has a little blue bar around it alright now if we were inserting actual video it tells you how long the video would be but remember we're inserting photographs instead okay so as I click between these you can see that the outline is changing and so is each one of these okay you can also see that my camera roll is right down here. So let's get started. We're going to come over here and I'm going to click on that picture, the very first one. And remember that my, my uh, movie, my novel that I read was Hatchet. Okay, so I'm going to come back over to my camera roll. And if I remember correctly, Hatchet started with a plane crash. So I find my picture and I tap on it, okay? And that's what I did just then. And then you can see that it automatically goes to the next blank spot, okay? Did that right here. Here's my next blank spot. 
So um, it started with a plane crash and then the teenage boy in the plane kind of panicked. So I found a scared teenage boy. And let's see what else happened. Uh, there was a bear. And then again, it continues to move down. Um, from the plane, I think he found a radio. There was a skunk. There were some wolves. He had a hatchet. Uh, he ate some turtle eggs. He had to find some shelter. He made a bow and arrow so that he could fish. He had to build a fire. Let's see. I don't know whether he ate a rabbit. I'm trying to think of what pictures I have and haven't used. Um, some berries. I know I didn't get enough pictures for the entire thing. Maybe I had another bear. There's a scary bear. We'll put another one in. Okay. Maybe there was more than one. But I think you get the gist. All right. Uh, so here we go. We have what we need so far. Okay. I have my pictures. We're going to pretend like I'm done. Okay. So I have my pictures in there. Now the next thing that I would do after I put my pictures in there, I have this right here. Okay. So, this is editable. Riley Film starts the whole thing. Okay, so I don't want to change that. The next thing I want to do is I want to edit this. Now, this text is really important because this is what's going to draw my audience to want to read this book. Okay, so I could put the worst happened. all alone. Um, he faces his biggest fears. Okay, so you want the really major things to be the second box because you can see that the second box is the biggest font. So you want that to be the major thing. All alone, his biggest fears. Okay. So we probably want, can he survive? And I might leave one box blank, okay? But then I can continue to go on down here, all right? Now, mine obviously is a complaint because, excuse me, complete because mine's an example. But let's check it out, okay? Okay, now I can see some major things wrong with mine as I look at it because some of my pictures are not matching up with how serious the music is, right? And so I'm going to want to make sure 
I'm off a little bit here too, there we go. I'm gonna wanna make sure that my music fits my pictures and that my words fit my pictures and that my pictures are serious enough and they fit the tone of everything that's going on. So obviously I'm gonna to need to go back in and I'm gonna to need to really make sure that everything goes together because this could be really cool. And so it really does take a lot of patience, a lot of planning, and a lot of fine tuning, but this project can really wow everybody that looks at it. I hope you have a lot of fun. Thank you. By clicking the little button that you just saw up in the upper uh, corner, and I'll do that again for you so that you can see it. It's this button right here. I, I realized I told you we were all done before I told you how to save it. Uh, right up here, by clicking that button, you're going to be able to see everything that you have, okay? And you'll be able to save everything that you need to save. You can click Save Video right here, and you can say how I think large is plenty and it'll export the movie and then I'll get with your teacher on how she can save this and get it someplace else and that's what you need to know thank you